I feel very Gen Z today wearing like this little tie up top and talking about Tower 28 and like having acne like a teenager does. Yeah. If that's Gen Z, then I'm Gen Z. I am so excited about today's video. I've been wanting to film this for a long time, and I finally just took the plunge after having an event with Tower 28 last week, so spoiler alert. I love the brand. You guys already know that though. I've talked about the SOS spray. I have talked about their blushes. I've talked about their lip glosses, all in different favorites videos over the past year. So it's really not gonna be a surprise to you, but I wanna break down each product, the colors, the shades, my favorites, and how I like to apply them. Cause I feel like there are a lot of people that watch my channel who are very into skincare and wouldn't mind kind of dipping their toes into the world of makeup. And I just think that Tower 28 is the perfect brand for you to start with. This is the final look that we came up with. Let me zoom in to show you. It's super natural, but glowy, but dewy. I'm using all of the products that I own from them. We'll also go through swatches of all of the different colors that I have, including every single shade of their lip gloss. Yeah. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Rudy Berry. We talk about more than just makeup on this channel. We also talk about skincare, acne, we do vlogs. We talk a little bit about fashion and I would love to have you subscribe. Before we dive in, I also just want to mention a few things about the brand that are going to, you know, overarching, it's going to be about all of these products. So for one, the Tower 28 brand is approved by the National Eczema Association. That is so important to me and so incredible. I absolutely love to see it. And because of that, this means that these products are fragrance free. Every single product here is going to be fragrance free and cruelty free, so you really don't need to worry about that. Also, I will pop up the prices for all of these as we go along. These products are all sensitive skin approved. I have worn them for over the past year with zero issues. In fact, I would go ahead and say that Tower 28 is my favorite brand. I know, but I just feel like it's a brand that represents represents the underrepresented, which are people with sensitive and acne prone skin. And not just saying that, not just saying, oh, it's sensitive skin friendly. No, they have the shit to back it up. So if you're interested in this look or if you're interested in any of the products from Tower 28, keep watching. Okay, so Tower 28 does not have any coverage products in their line at the moment. I'm hoping that that changes in the future, but I know that that's kind of a tough thing to have to formulate and get approved by the National Eczema Association. As I mentioned, all of their products are, which is something that I absolutely love. So because of that, I went in with the Tarte Hydro Sealer and I set some of those areas with the Kosas um, Cloud Set. I'm in the shade Feathery just under the eyes and then around the chin and around the mouth. As I mentioned, my skin is just really not doing well right now, which is fine because this brand does not irritate my skin, but I did want to set it because it is super humid outside. Let's start off with one of their most well-known, world-renowned products. This is the Bronzino. I have mine in shade West Coast. So one thing I will say about the packaging is that it can get dirty pretty quickly. I mean, it is completely clear plastic. So just keep that in mind. I did go to a event with them recently and the owner of the company, her name is Amy, she actually dips into the product and then kind of dabs off the excess on this side, which I thought was really interesting. If you're someone who is like, more practical with your makeup, you might also like that tip, but if you're someone who likes to have really clean, crisp makeup packaging, you won't like that tip. So all of their products, including their bronzer, blush, and their highlighter come in this packaging and have a similar formula. So just keep that in mind as we go through all of these products. I'll swatch the Bronzino for you here. This line was recently uh, given an addition of shades, I think three or four extra shades, which I think is really nice. West Coast is what I would have gone with anyways. It's a good middle of the road, light to medium shade bronzer for my skin tone. and. So I'm glad that I already had that one. I will say this is not a bronzer that I reach for super often. And that is because of the shimmer that is included in the product. It's not a glitter, but it does have a shimmery sheen in the pan that, you know, if you're acne prone, you may not like, but I think that the reason that they made it kind of more luminous is so you could wear it without makeup with makeup. And it would give you kind of that summery glow all the time because again, that really minimalistic skincare focus is the brand. Does it come off super glittery? No, it comes off more glowy, which I like, 
but just keep that in mind if you are someone who is you know you don't love your pores and you feel like that might draw attention to it all of the shades all five of them have some sort of sheen to it you can see as it's coming off here it's not it's not going to come off glittery it's just going to give you a very natural shine but if you don't like that you're not gonna you're not gonna like this i'm pretty heavy-handed with my bronzer you guys know that so i'm gonna go over the bridge of the nose I do have a lot of acne on my forehead right now, but I feel comfortable going in with this product because it is acne friendly. It is eczema friendly. And whenever I'm having a really bad skin day, I always know that I can turn to these products and that they won't make anything worse, which is really the goal with having any sort of acne, right? I want to wear makeup because I want to feel better about myself, but I don't want the makeup to make things worse. They are a very creamy consistency. They are not cream to powder. They are fully cream and they're not going to dry down and that's across the entire board. If you have incredibly oily skin, I don't know if you're going to absolutely love these. However, you can apply a very thin layer of these products and achieve this very glowy, beautiful look without it sliding off of your face. That's one of the reasons why I love this brand is that all of the products are pressed like this. Nothing is loose, nothing is super liquidy. So you have a lot of control over where it goes, how pigmented you want it, how thick of a layer you want to apply. So if you are feeling oily and you still wanna try it, what I would do is go down a shade in bronzer to a darker shade and apply a thinner layer. Allow that to kind of set for a little while before you go in with your blush, and I think that it will work very well. I think a lot of people use their fingers or a sponge with these products, but for me personally, I prefer using an angled brush. So this is from Japanesque. This is their 961. You can find these at TJ Maxx for very, very cheap. That's where I always find mine. Amazing, amazing brushes, very fluffy, um, a little bit dense, but it's, it's very loose and allows you to pack that product on without picking too much up. I use this for pretty much all of my cream products. That is my recommendation for these products as well. All right, so I've got four of their blushes and these are, in my opinion, the best product in the line. I know that their lip glosses are very popular and we'll go over that as well, but the blushes are just so beautiful and they will fit a wide range of skin tones. They also are all a natural finish, so there's no glitter, no shimmer, unlike the bronzer. And they're also not matte. They're again, not that cream to powder formula. They are fully cream. So let's swatch all of these. Starting with the brightest shade that I own, this is the shade Happy Hour. I would say that this is better suited for dark to deep skin tones. I think this would look beautiful on black skin. It is quite bright for me. I mean, she bright, she bright. But I can pull it off with a very thin light layer. So again, that is the shade Happy Hour. Next is the shade Rush Hour. I absolutely love this one. It is in between a coral and a peach. It's stunning. It works well on every skin tone. Again, this can be built up in pigmentation. Any skin tone can wear this one. So this is in the shade Rush Hour. So we have Happy Hour and Rush Hour. Next up is my second favorite of the ones that I own. This is the shade Magic Hour. I would say this is best suited for the light skin toned women and men who wanna purchase these. My best friend Hannah, who is light and has blonde hair, looks absolutely stunning in this shade. It's probably the most universally flattering for light skin tones, and this is a mauve shade. So again, that's happy hour, rush hour, and magic hour. I can wear all of these, but again, these two I really tend to gravitate towards. And then there is my favorite. This is the shade Power Hour, and I wear this constantly. This has been in a few of my favorite videos. This is a terracotta blush, and y'all know how I feel about that. Again, can be worn universally on any skin tone, but is probably better suited for medium to dark. So you would think this would not work on me, but I'm telling you with a light hand, this is the most perfect blush of all time. It looks like you've been out in the sun. It looks like you just were kissed by a sun god. It is my number one favorite. So I'm going to use both 
power hour and magic hour today to show you how I blush drape. But again, these are absolutely stunning. If you really take a look, you can see the consistency. They're just beautifully shiny and luminous, but with no glitter or no shimmer. Incredibly creamy, and they are not going to, again, they're not really going to dry down. So keep that in mind. If you have large pores, these will work for you. If you have oily skin, I think they can work for you. Again, with being light-handed with your application, they're gorgeous. By far my favorite product in their line. So as I mentioned, I'm going to go in with Power Hour first and then Magic Hour. Same thing here, I'll just go in on the brush and then kind of tap out any excess on the top here. And I'm gonna focus Power Hour more on the outsides of my cheeks, basically just above where I just bronzed and bring that across the nose and kind of leave the apples open to interpretation, which I will be adding magic hour. These are also multi-purpose for lips and for eyes. I personally tend to not use them on either of those areas just because I like a glossy lip and I find that using a cream like this on your eyes allows for a lot of creasing. Uh, if you're going for an editorial look, I think it works very well. If you're going for a long wearing look, it's not gonna work. With that being said, I'll probably go in with the bronzer on my eyes just so I can show you guys what that looks like. So again, very light, very easy. Look how fast that just applied to my skin. And then I'm gonna go in with Magic Hour, which was that mauve shade on the apples of my cheeks. Again, I will tap in, tap, tap, tap in, and then tap off the excess of excess. Oh my God, up here, which is kind of a lot. And I'll just go in right on the apples. And it gives a beautiful little mauve -y pop. These are great for blush draping or for mixing because they do stay malleable for so long that you can really get in there and blend and blend and they won't blend away. I love it. I just, I think they're so easy and so beautiful. I also think this one would be gorgeous on the lips, especially if you have a lighter skin tone. To put the bronzer on my eyes, I would usually go in with a fluffy brush, but I don't have one with me. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and lightly apply it to the lids and kind of just blend it upwards. I'm doing a super light layer because again, these will crease throughout the day. So the thinner, the less creasing you're gonna have. It still gives you a little bit of that color, but you won't be piling on the cream. Again, that's the shade West Coast on my eyes and as a bronzer. So one of their most unique products outside of the SOS spray, which we will get to, is their highlighter, which is called the Super Dew. I have made an entire video on this and posted it here on my channel, which I can leave down below. It's, it's actually just a short, but this is a clear, shadeless highlighting balm that has no glitter, no shimmer, and no shade. And again, it's in that same packaging as the rest of their products. And a lot of people ask me like, why is this different? How is this different from like using an ointment or a, a you know, like aquaphor on your cheeks? And it's really not, except for that the ingredients and the formulation are a lot more elegant than using like an aquaphor balm. It really just depends on if you want an, like a unique makeup product in your collection or if you are just trying to keep things pared down. I love this product. It's very odd. I use it on days where I don't have a lot going on. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and it just adds that extra glow even though a lot of these products are already adding that. Keep that in mind. I don't think this is ne a necessary product but I do think that it's super unique. I would love to see them come out with more shades honestly. Uh, just because the clear obviously works for all skin tones, but it doesn't really do much. Like you wanna talk about a highlighter that is literally just, you know, a reflection. That's what this is because there is no shade. There's nothing to create that reflection outside of just the glow of the ointment basically. And it is also very sticky. My lips are dry, so I'm going to put a little bit on. It's very sticky. It's not going to dry down. So keep that in mind. In fact, I would say it's even more malleable than the blushes. Does it create the most sweaty, dewy looking look you've ever seen in your entire life? Yes. I mean, look at me. I look like I was out in the Amazon forest for like two hours. It's amazing for dry skin, but again, I don't think it's necessary if you're trying to go through their collection and you're trying to pick out the best things to buy. Definitely the bronzers and the blushes above this, but if you're looking for something unique that is again approved by the Eczema Association and it's kind of multi-purpose all over the face, could be worth picking up. 
Again, very unique addition to my collection. So at some point you have probably seen their lip jellies either on Instagram or on TikTok getting a lot of praise and that's because they are truly amazing. I own almost all of them if they're not in a mini size or in this size. I'm gonna pop in a video next to me here that gives you a swatch of each of them so you can kind of decide what color might work best for you and your skin tone. They are a beautiful formula, you guys. And for $14, like you really can't be that. I would say they're less of a lip gloss and more of literally what it's called, a lip jelly. So I wanted to offer two of my favorites today. I'm going to wear the shade Cashew, but I also wanted to swatch the shade Fire. So Cashew is my perfect nude. I actually mentioned it in a favorites video, I think two months ago, and it is from the Shine On line, and this one is from the Sheer line. Fire is my favorite from the Sheer line and cashew is my favorite from the more nude line. So I will say something that's really unique about these sheer ones is that, and I remember Amy saying this in this event that we had, there's no white pigment in these glosses, so they truly work on every single skin tone because there's no white to kind of create that little be whole mouth, if you will, on like darker skin tones. So truly any person can wear the uh, clear glosses or like the clear base glosses. I will say that the more um, nude shade glosses, there are four options and cashew and almond are my favorite of those. So again, I am gonna go in with the shade cashew today. Again, it is my, my lips but better. I'm really not someone who likes a really thick feeling on my lips. So I just do a very thin layer and it just, it kind of just wraps up all of the look together. I feel like if they didn't have lip products within their line, I would say there was definitely something missing, but because they have so many options for lip products, it really ties everything together. When you're able to choose the right bronzer and the right blush and then have a lip product, that's really all you need in a compact line. However, I love everything from them and I would love to see them come out with a concealer now next, but we'll see. I know they're very focused on these, you know, specific products that they have in their line and continuing to expand those, but how amazing would it be if they came out with a concealer? Okay, we're saving the very best product for last, in my opinion, and what sets Tower 28 apart from other makeup and beauty brands, and that is their SOS spray. So the founder actually created this product for her child because they were experiencing eczema, and I know that a lot of people have heard of this product or or have created or found dupes for this product, but essentially this is a hypochlorous acid spray. If you look at the bottle, it says that it is TLC for stressed out skin, clinically proven, dermatologist tested, and it is fragrance free, alcohol free, oil free, and hypoallergenic. Again, the National Eczema Association seal of approval is on this product. So the instructions on this product are to spray on freshly cleansed skin and then let it dry and go in with your moisturizer. But honestly, I use this shit I use it to set my makeup, I use it to spritz throughout the day, I use it on my body, I use it on cleansed skin, I use it constantly. You can see I'm pretty much almost done. I have this much left and I have like three tiny bottles around the house. This is just amazing stuff. It is really great for irritated skin, it's great for hives, it's great for acne, it's great for dermatitis, it's great for eczema, like any sort of irritation that you can think of. If you have it, you need this. It's also pH balanced at 4.5. Again, hypochlorous acid is the star ingredient in this product, which basically is a compound that's already in your skin that helps repair your skin barrier. It's just the bomb. There are some other brands that make this that sell on Amazon that are cheaper, but in my opinion, I trust Tower 28 and I love to support the brand, so I will continue buying the SOS. Hmm, I love it. I just love it. Like I said, the Tower 28 brand right now is small but mighty. I just see really great things for them in their future. I think that they are so aesthetic. Their products are so specific and so helpful for a specific skin type, which is mine. I love a brand that really caters for sensitive skin. It is 
so uncommon in the industry. And so if you are looking for a makeup product or a makeup brand to dip your toes into and you're not sure where to start, you have acne, you have sensitive skin, highly recommend trying out Tower 28. What I would say the star of the show for me are the blushes and the SOS spray is where I would start. And if you're looking to kind of expand, I would go into the lip glosses and the bronzer. Let me know if you have any questions on any of these products down below. I would love to continue doing the series with other brands. I did one with Kosa's a couple months ago that I can link up above. I'm like, hmm, I could probably do one for Tarte with their Rainforest of the Sea collection. I am coming out with another video for my sensitive skin girlies and boys talking about all of my favorite summer must-haves and that'll be coming really soon. So I will see you guys in the next video then. Bye!